Time now for Back to the Basics in Healthcare with Dr. Harley from Balanced Life Chiropractic. How are you doing, Dr. Harley? Hey, John. I'm doing fantastic. Definitely loving the cooler weather that's yeah. ahead. I mean, summer's fun, but definitely. Fall is a lot of fun. This is one of my favorite. Be- you know, I guess I kind of like spring, too, because then all winter you're cold and you're finally getting warm. But the thing I like about this is it's just like it, you're not hot, you're not cold. It's just right. Very true. And first of all, happy second anniversary to Balanced Life Chiropractic. When was the official day? It was uh, the 8th, so September 8th. So, yeah, it's been an exciting ride. We've been open for two years. We've seen a lot of amazing health changes in the last two years. It's just, it's been a fun ride, and we can't wait for more years to come and helping more people. I think that's awesome. And when it comes to health, everybody has kind of a different definition in their mind of what health care is and what health is. So let's talk about what your basis of health care and, and, and what health means to you. Yeah, I like asking all of my new patients, you know, what is health or what does it mean to be healthy? to them. What do you think, John? What what does health look like to you? For me, it's just not being in pain, you know, because if, if I'm in pain, I, I feel like I must not be doing something right. And that's the most common answer I get for most people is a lot of people base their health on how we feel. It's like, well, if I feel good today or don't feel good tomorrow, like the other day, like I'm not healthy then at that point, but I'm healthy the days I feel good. But a lot of times health, like the feeling aspect of it can kind of give us a false sense of security. So if you think about it, you know, most people don't know they have heart disease until it's in the later stages, yeah. but they had to start somewhere. And it's kind of one of those, if we started earlier, you know, <clears throat> preventing health problems to begin with, we'd be a lot healthier in the long run. So the, the feeling bad is kind of one of the last things. So there's all kinds of stuff happening way before I ever feel it. Exactly. There's so many disease processes. There's so many functions in our body that have no symptoms. You know, we can't necessarily tell how our stomach's functioning or our kidneys until they're not working, right? So it's kind of like if we wait until they're not working, then that's been going on long enough. It's going to take a while to start correcting it. So I look at health a little bit differently, and I actually looked up the definition of health once. It was a a state of being without disease or injury. Now, most people know when they don't have injuries, right? But we don't always know when we don't have disease, especially in the early stages of it. So I kind of look at that aspect for health and looking more at how's your body working? How is it functioning? Is it functioning at 100%, 100% of the time? That is true optimal health. And that would be probably pretty tough for most people to be at 100%, 100% of the time, but that's the goal. Right. That That's ideal, perfect health. Most people are probably running at 60 70%, but all the time. Or sometimes maybe they're 100%, but only 60% of the time. And that other 40%, they're kind of all over the place, right? You know, look at your body like a car or a machine in any shape or form. If your car wasn't running at max performance... We probably would want to get it tuned up, fixed up. Most people do, right? Obviously, some people take better care of their bodies and their cars, and some people are the opposite. They take better care of their cars than themselves. But regardless, like, we only get one body. If we don't take care of it, it's not going to last us, you know, 90-some years. That You know, that's kind of the average lifespan. I think it's like 83 or something right now. But it's supposed to last that long. But if we don't take care of it when we're younger, it's going to be a lot harder getting to that point. And I suppose the same thing could be thought, like when you think about a car, if if you go in and have your oil change done at the right times and you get the brake pads changed and do all of the things you're supposed to do, you probably don't have breakdowns. But if you don't do those things and you only respond when there are breakdowns, and, and when it comes to health, it's probably the same thing. If I right. take care of myself long term and I don't have the breakdowns rather than waiting until, hey, Dr. Harley, can you fix this? Right. Maintenance is much easier. It's much cheaper than having to do a big fix because something actually has broken down. So that's one thing I really talk with the patients is more about preventative health care or maintenance care, making sure that we're keeping your health where we want it versus waiting for it to start falling apart. If somebody listening is going, boy, I really could probably use some health with or some help with my health care and uh, finding a way to have that maintenance plan and to take care of myself rather than waiting for the breakdowns. How do they get a hold of you here at Balanced Life Chiropractic? They can give us a call at 605-215-1785 or shoot us a message on our Facebook page, Balanced Life Chiropractic. We'd love to chat and let you know how we can help you. Very nice. You can also find them online. Their website, once again, balancedlifesd.com.